If there is a such thing as a signature pair, I think these are mine. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today's video is something a little different, but I am so excited about it. As you saw from the thumbnail, today we are gonna be talking about colored contacts, and I just, I, I'm still in shock that I have the opportunity to share this with you guys but i'm not gonna make this intro long because i'm just gonna ramble i already know me when i get excited if you're new stop what you're doing hit that subscribe button if you love makeup if you love tutorials reviews hauls if you love fitness because we do sprinkle a little bit of that in join the family hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know when i upload i'm not gonna keep you guys waiting because i am too excited to share this information with you so we're gonna jump right into this video So last month, a company named Just For Kira reached out to me and asked me if I would be interested in trying out some of their colored contacts. Now, first of all, I was excited because I love switching up my style. I love trying different stuff. I'm going to see if I can find a picture because what y'all don't know is I used to only wear color contacts when I was going out. And this was like back in my early 20s. And then I just kind of got tired of whenever I would go to the doctor, I would have to get an exam for color. I would have to get an exam for regular contacts and for my glasses. So I just stopped wearing them. And I would see all these videos of people doing color contacts. And I was like, God, I wish I could do that. But I have a prescription. It's too much of a headache. Y'all, this company actually has color contacts that are just for people who have normal, very good, 2020 eyesight and then people like me who are blind as a bat and need a prescription so when i saw that i was just like oh yes please i would love to do a video and share more about your company with my viewers and if you follow me on my stories you did see when this package came in this is what the box looks like and it's just pretty standard now this did come from overseas this is a sino korean brand so it did have to go through customs, took a little bit of time for shipping. It wasn't horrible though. It's awesome because these are high-end original contacts and there's so many different colors and styles to choose from. I got to pick out four lenses and this is what the packaging looks like. So it just came in this box with bubble wrap. Then they also give you this card and it tells you how to put in your contacts. But it also tells you that you have to soak them for six to eight hours before you use them and that they're actually good for a whole 12 months. I didn't know you could wear contacts that long, so I was really excited about that. If you've never used contacts, this card is awesome because it is really informative to tell you how to put them on, how to tell if they're actually lined up right, you know, if they're inside out when you go to put them in your eyes and how to take them out. Now, I know when I take my contacts out, I'm a weirdo. I put my finger here and then I just slide and I pinch. Sometimes I pinch my eyeball, but <laughs> that's how I've always done it. It works with nails. It works without nails. And I was able to pick out four different contacts. So they all come in individual boxes like this. And you get to pick if you have one eye that's one power and one eye a different power, like one's a minus one and the other one's a minus 2.5 you get to pick each eye power that you need. So my prescription is a minus 3.25. Your girl is blind. And it's kind of frustrating, but anytime I'm filming, I have contacts on. If I don't have contacts on, I have to have my glasses on or I'll be walking around looking like this. So when I take my contacts out, if you notice me squinting, that's why I can't see. The shades that I picked out are Luna Gray, era brown gem brown which is actually more like a green and then asia blue i wanted to pick out or asa or asa asa blue i wanted to pick out one of each but i also wanted them to be somewhat natural and flattering for me being black woman dark my eyes aren't dark brown but they are brown i didn't want like super stark even though the gray will be crazy so i wanted something that was going to look good on me 
I love that each set that I ordered came with this little case. The contacts are in here, but it also comes with a pair of pliers that you can pick them up with or tweezers and they have a rubber tip so you won't tear them or damage them anyway. And then there's also a little applicator, which I've never used one of these before, but you just open it like this and then you put the solution on the inside i don't want to spill it this applicator actually has i don't know if you guys can see that i hope you can there's a little it looks like a little cup at the end that you sit the contact on and then you just place it on your eyeball i've never used this but i'm gonna give it a try for this video just to see so right now i am gonna demo all of the ones that i bought i just want to show you guys how having colored contacts can really transform your look. All right, I'm gonna apologize now if you guys can hear the noise in the background. That is construction literally in my backyard. So please excuse that. And if you see me squinting at any point, remember, I've taken out my contacts. I cannot see. I can't even see on my <laughs> flip out display on my camera. It is bad. Just for reference, I brought my contacts in to show you guys the difference. So I wear AccuView 2s. These are my favorites. I don't have any issues. These do not, I don't have any issues with them, like getting smudges on them that much. These are the most comfortable for me. I've tried a bunch of different pairs. This is what I like. I am a minus 3.25. And this says that the base curve on these is a 8.3. The base curve on these are an 8.6. So that means that these lenses are actually a little more curved. And the diameter is 14 on these. The diameter is 14 on these as well. So these have a little bit more curve to them than my normal ones do. So they may feel a little different in my eye, which I know because I've worn color contacts I'm going to start with the Luna Gray. So we're going to go ahead and put one in and I'm going to use this little applicator just to see how this works. And I'm going to do this on camera so you guys can see how easy this is. So this is the contact in my hand right here. And I'm going to put it on this applicator. I hope this is all in focus. I'm sorry guys, I really can't see if it is or not. So as you can see, when you put it on the applicator, you do not want it to be inverted. You want the edges to be flipped up. So I don't know if you can see that there, that they are flipped up. Maybe I'm too close. But I'm going to show you what it looks like if it's flipped the wrong way as well. Actually, that was flipped the wrong way. So now you see the difference. So you do not want the edges to be bold outwards. You want everything to be nice and curved. So we are going to go ahead and put this in our eye. But you just pick it up straight on the eye. And just like that, it's in. Oh my goodness, I haven't worn contacts like this in so long. Look at how gorgeous that is. So I don't know if you can see, I can kind of see a little better now. You can still see the brown on the inside of my eye. And that is why I wanted to get contacts that were more almost natural, like they faded kind of. So it wasn't just like a stark circle because as you can see, you can't really see, you can still see the brown. So I wanted it to look a little more natural. My eyes are not gray. Everybody knows my eyes are not gray, but it still looks better than just a really bright start the same shade and then go the same shade throughout the pattern. Like this has a bit of a pattern to it, I guess I'm trying to say, if you guys can see that. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the other one in. And I'm just going to put it in like I normally put my contacts in. And there you have it. Wow. I haven't seen me with colored contacts in so long. My eyes do water up a bit, but it's not from the contacts. It's just, I mean, even with my regular ones, they do that. Look at how gorgeous that looks. 
Oh, I haven't worn color contacts in so long. And they move with your eye too. It does feel a little different in my eye. I can tell that I have something there. I don't like that applicator. I don't need to use that. I'm not gonna use that, but this is the first pair of Luna Gray. All right, so the next pair we are gonna try, these are the, oh, I didn't say names of these. The first ones were Abicons. So that's the box for the Luna Gray. These are the Shimasaki soft contact lenses. This is in Iria Brown. So that's what this box looks like. This one is more just like a hazel brown, but it also has a different pattern to it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this one in. And so that is what that contact looks like. So you can see the difference between them both. It just looks so, like it's just crazy how much it amps up an eye look. I think it is so beautiful. I always wished I had light colored eyes. I mean, who doesn't, but. I'm gonna go ahead and put the other one in, but you can see the difference now. All right, so here we are with both contacts in. This again is the area brown so i feel like this is more of like a hazel kind of gray brown but i love these and i don't think the other ones let me look at them yeah you see how these have a dark circle around the outside of them the other ones didn't have that so there's different styles that you can choose from that may just be more neutral this one i feel like is a little more stark because it has that dark edge around it but i'm trying to like make sure you guys can still see while i'm admiring as well i think these are so pretty all right so the next ones we have are this is the gem brown and these are abby cons as well so same as the first brand and i picked these up because they're greenish they don't look brown but they're not like emerald green. They're more like a hazel green. And these also have the rim around the edge. So I'll go ahead and put in one so you guys can see what that looks like. These are perfect. This is the exact green that I wanted. Oh my goodness. I didn't want an emerald like jade green. I wanted like a hazel green and I thought it was a misprint, but these are beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and put the other one in so you can see them together. If there is a such thing as a signature pair, I think these are mine. I love these. I cannot stop looking like I, I'm so glad it wasn't a typo because these are definitely green but they're kind of like a olive green. Maybe that's why I love them. Y'all know me and my camo. These are gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Again, these are the Jim Brown and the Abby Cons. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these out and then I'm gonna show you the last pair. All right, and last but not least, we have the Himora is the brand. This is what the box looks like. And these are the Asa Blue, ASA Blue. And I didn't show y'all this earlier, but I did keep all of the packaging. So this is what it comes in. So standard packaging for a colored or a colored or regular contact. Open it up. Like I said, I just had to let these soak. I always do that. You had to let them soak. So I took them out and put it, but they all come individually wrapped and labeled with the power the brand everything like that so that is definitely good but now we are going to use these blue ones i did not again get a stark blue because i wanted something that was a little more natural so these actually start off brown on the inside and then fade to blue it's almost like you can barely see the blue when you're looking at the lens itself I said the greens were my favorite, but this is pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and put in the other one real quick so you guys can see, but I love 
if there was a natural look, this would be it. All right, so this is both of the Asa Blue contacts in. I love these. They don't look too stark. I specifically picked every single pair to look natural, but still have a little pop of color. And these are perfect. Of course, you can pick whatever you want. If you want something that's just like, bam, wow, look at her eyes. I mean, I still feel like this does this, but it's not too dramatic. But just, I love how it just amps everything up. This is beautiful. So that's it for the video, guys. That's the four pairs that I picked out. Absolutely love them, and I promise I will be ordering from them again because, like I said, they actually matched my prescription, and I didn't have any issues. I didn't have to pay extra for the exam. So if you wear contacts and you've wanted to try color contacts, this is the perfect way to do it. There's no must, no fuss, no appointment. Just make sure you get your prescription right because that's on you if you order the wrong thing. They were kind enough to give me a coupon code for you guys. So I was super excited about that because you do get to save 20% off when you use Barbell Barbie at checkout. I'm definitely going to be ordering from them again because I love that this is hassle free. You're not paying extra for the exam and they have so many options to choose from. There are some styles that don't have a prescription like you can't get them in prescription it has to be just a regular standard colored contact lens but that is it for this video y'all comment below and tell me which pair were your favorite and let me know if you're going to check them out i definitely think it's worth it and it'll be a good way to play up your eyes you know just do something different change up your look a little bit if you're not scared to wear contacts Thanks for sticking with me to the end of this video. Again, if you plan to order, use my code BARBELLBARBIE to get 20% off. And thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you're new, welcome to the family. Hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.